Hi everyone, welcome back to the Still Trying Mama and the Still Trying Mama Still Trying Still Learning. Um, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you're new here, I appreciate you very much. Um, please stick around if you would like to see some cash stuffing being done here um, from a Singaporean stay-at-home mama's perspective. And um, we are surviving on a single income, a low income, and yeah, we budget monthly, but then we we cash stuff weekly. So if you're interested in any of that, please do stay around, subscribe, and let's have fun. So basically what I'm going to do today is not cash stuffing. However, I am going to be closing out, or rather, I am going to be consolidating um, what I have in my sinking funds for the month of May and comparing it to the amounts that I had in April to see if I made any progress some of them they might um, the amount in May might even be lower than the amount in April because I I had taken some money out for certain reasons so let's see you know let's see what happens okay so let's start off with my um, high priority binder okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count how much we have and I'm gonna be writing the amounts here and then later I will be putting in um, the differences in amount and we'll see at the end if it's a positive or a negative right so uh, let's go to health which is dentist over here because I changed the labeling on the envelope for dentist we have 250 300 10 20 30 40 so we have th oh wow we have exactly the same this is because i did take some out for a dental appointment but i'm amazed that we do have the same amount at the end of may so well, this is this is good news right i mean as long as it's not in the negative it's good news so let me write the difference in a red marker so zero so there's no there's no difference in amount okay let's move on to my vacation so i think vacation definitely has a positive amount added in so we have 250 60 70 80 90 300 3, 5 10 15 20 25 325 dollars for vacation Okay, and the difference would be one one zero. So in one month, I saved one hundred and ten dollars for vacation. Isn't it amazing? For the fifty envelope challenge in April, I had one hundred and fifty five dollars. Let's see how much we have at the end of May. Okay, I really do need to cut my placeholders a little smaller. Alright, so we have $150 in the bank, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 16. So $216 for the 50 envelope challenge, which will be going into my vacation expenses as well. What is it? 216, right? So. So the difference would be, okay, I'm going to calculate the differences later, okay, because I don't really want to change the pen, you know, so often, change the marker so often, it's getting a little of a hassle. Okay, let's look at emergency. I had $145 at the end of April. Let's see how much we have at the end of May, 150 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 82, 84, 86, 88. So $188 for emergency. Okay. 
Okay, for books, for books, I had $30 and we added $5 here. Well, it's better than nothing again, like I said. Anything is still more than whatever we had, right? So, yeah, I'm okay with that. For clothes, we had 34 and I think we had a lot more this week, this month, I mean. So, we have 100, we have 100. 10, 20, 30, 35, 37, 39. $139. I think this might be the one that has got the most added to it this month. Let's see. We'll count the differences later. Okay, Chinese New Year is a new envelope which I did not write down here, but I'll probably add it in um, after this video. Okay, and then we'll... Okay, business, I have nothing here, so this would be zero. So like I said, um, this really depends on the Etsy sales that I have. If I don't have any sales, then I won't have anything in the envelope to stuff. Okay, let's move on. Next up, my hair. For, hair, for my hair envelope, I have 250, 60, 65, 70, 72. $272 for hair. It doesn't look like there's any negative amounts yet, right? Like negative differences in amount. So it looks good. For phone, I don't think I added much this month, but let's see. 100, 200, 10, 15, 17, 19. $219 for phone. So I did add something. Okay. For special days, we had 129 at the end of April. Let's see how much we have at the end of May. 10. Uh, 10. Did I say 10? 100, 150, 55, 57, 59, 61. 161 dollars for special days. So yes, again another positive difference. That's great. What did I say? A hundred and oh dear, a hundred and sixty-nine, right? Five, seven, oh dear, five, seven, nine, eleven. What what did I say? My goodness, fifty. So I have one hundred and fifty, hundred fifty-five, hundred and fifty-seven, hundred fifty-nine, hundred and sixty-one. I better write it down before I forget. Oh dear, what's happening? Okay. Next up, we have household. So we used to have 15 and right now we have 5, 10, 15, 20. So I did take some, um, some money out from this envelope to get some household appliances. So yeah, it's still positive even though I've taken money out. So I'm not complaining. Okay, LASIK um, is the same $40 if I'm not wrong. I didn't think I added in anything this month. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 35, 40. Yeah. So I didn't add in anything this month. So um, in my last video, I, I did ask for comments. If, you know, for opinions, if I should take this envelope out. Um, yeah, I do want to hear from a lot more of you. If possible, please do let me know if I should take this, this envelope up, out. Since, you know, it doesn't look like I'll be going for this anytime soon. Okay. Um, next is Happy Mail. And I do have $2 here. So even this has a positive difference. And that's all for my sinking funds. So give me a minute. I'll be, a minute, I'll be right back with the differences. Okay, and I'm back with all the differences I've calculated. So basically, there's only one negative difference, and that's um, business, which you all know by now. Uh, I have been making a loss in my Etsy shop. So here's hoping that things will pick up soon. And at the end of it, I had $440 added into my sinking funds this month, in the month of May. If I minus off, the $10 loss that I made in business, I have still saved $430 in the month of May. 
and in just the month of May, $430 is really great progress. I'm really proud of myself. I wouldn't have done this um, before I stumbled upon the cash envelope system. I would have been spending this $430 anywhere and everywhere, any chance I get. So yeah, I am very grateful I found the cash envelope system, cash stuffing. So if you're interested in finding out more about cash stuffing and also watching how um, someone with different currencies maybe from your country do cash stuffing, please stay around, subscribe, like this video and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye.